What is a transmission line loudspeaker? This great question comes from Daniel in Brazil, where they speak Portuguese. Who knew? <laughs> I always thought Brazilians spoke Spanish, but I've come to learn they actually speak Portuguese, which is, I don't think is a lot like Spanish, and I couldn't get it. I can say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. I can't even say that. Uno, dos, tres, right? But in Portuguese, I'm, I'm lost. Hey, Paul, could you please make a video about transmission line speakers, explaining a little about the theory behind them, the pros and cons, thanks in advance? Well, sure. A transmission line speaker is another way to port a loudspeaker. So let's talk about the different types of speakers in very broad categories. And we're talking about dynamic speakers here, if you will. So the, 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 there are sealed box speakers where the drivers are in a sealed box, just like it sounds like. There are ported speakers where the woofer has a port inside of it that relieves some of the pressure on, of the back of the woofer as it moves in and out inside of this sealed box or this box and also adds bass at, at, at certain frequencies where uh, however the port is designed and tuned. And then there are dipoles like that like we like where the, and, and there are open baffle, baffle speakers. There's all kinds of speakers but anyway I don't want to get off onto all of those tangents. Let's just, let's just keep it simple. So if we look at a ported speaker, we've got a box with a hole in it, essentially what it is. Some of the holes are fancier than others, but most of them are just simple holes with a little bit of a, a, a venturi, a, a, a shaped uh, area, and, and usually a tuning pipe, if you will, which is just a a bit of a pipe that uh, along with the, the flange that uh, makes sure that there's uh, reducing the chuffing sound which comes out of this or farting, whatever you want to call it. However you want to characterize that, that's what a port does and, and, and the, the problem with ports, there's a lot of them, but let's, we won't go there for right now. The problem with most ports is that they are all out of phase. So the back wave is out of phase. In other words, it, as the speaker is pushing, then the out of phase part is pulling. And if you had an open baffle speaker, that's also what you would have. So a port does that only at very specific frequencies, and it rotates. It's complicated. There are some frequencies where ports are in phase, some frequencies where they're out of phase, and ports are, are everywhere. Most speakers get their bass by porting the loudspeaker, putting a hole in the loudspeaker. A transmission line loudspeaker is also ported, but one of the things that it has that's advantageous is its, po it, its port, the output of its port is in phase and additive to the sound of the woofer so that the bass coming out is all in phase. Now, how do they do that? Well, it's called a transmission line because essentially what you're doing is building what we used to think of as a waveguide, uh, but, and, and that would be in RF terms, but think of it this way. Inside of a transmission line speaker, there's a tunnel. There's a, usually a, a long, I'm gonna say circuitous tunnel, which in the sense of building a box, it isn't really a tunnel. It's a series of, of baffles within where the woofer uh, output of the back of the woofer can travel for a longer distance than it would if it was just inside of a box. So why does that work? Well, we know that sound travels at a very specific rate of speed. We know that sound takes time to reach our ears, which of course is why when you see lightning, you don't hear thunder unless the lightning's right overhead, and that'll scare the shit out of you. Uh, we were standing on our, we have this wonderful deck out in Boulder, Colorado, and we get some wickedly cool thunderstorms here. I mean, really cool. And Terry and I, <clears throat> when a big one comes along, we have these eaves uh, over uh, on our roof that kind of cover the patio by two or three feet, and we'll stand out there and under the eaves where it's kind of safe and watch these big, massive thunderstorms roll in over the Rockies. And it's just, wow, 
what a show. Hail. Oh, man. It's, I love them. But, and, 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 and if a, a lightning strike happens right in front of you or just very close, it's like, zip, bam. And you're like, whoa, it's awesome. But most lightning, thankfully, for safety purposes, is kind of far away. So you'll, you'll see it, ooh, kind of a low rumble, right? Well, that's because sound takes time to get to you. Was it like 700 miles an hour, 600 miles an hour? I mean, it's my jets only go 500 miles an hour because if they start going 600, 700, I don't remember what exactly what it is, but there's a point where they go faster than the speed of sound and they break the sound barrier and make this big sonic boom, which is what thunder actually is, okay? Big sonic booms. All that said, sorry for the ramble, all that said, if you can figure out a way to take the back wave of a woofer and the, and make it travel a longer distance so and calculate it such that by the time it travels through this tunnel it comes out delayed by one basically half of the of the of the wave of, of the the timing of the the particular note or notes that you're trying to hit then it will be slightly delayed but it will be in phase, not out of phase. And that's how a transmission line works. They are, they're hard to build uh, in terms of the cabinetry, though they do have advantages. When you build these, these um, baffles internally to the speaker, you do also wind up getting a pretty rigid box, which helps with resonances and things. So, but you don't see them very often. It's just, frankly, it's a lot easier to, 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 to build a box you know, with a six-sided box and poke a hole in it, call a port. Cheap, easy, effective, not as good as a transmission line, but it's a lot cheaper to build. All right.